Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we're going to be doing the mid-year book freak out tag. Surprisingly enough, I've been on booktube now for two years and I have never done this tag. Um, this go around I was tagged by um, Desiree over at Libri Labra and so she she knew I was struggling to do things so she tagged me in it and I was like well well played ma'am well played. So we are going to be doing the mid-year book freak out tag. Of course this made me really review my reading for the first six really seven months of the year currently and let me tell you I have been reading romance. I have been reading romance and contemporary and that is very abnormal for me but this whole year that's what I've been reading. So that was an interesting reflection on my part other than Scythe. Scythe was the only one this year that I have um that was not um fantasy or contemporary. So mid-year book freak out tag y'all. Um I have no idea who did the original one. Um no idea but I will tag Desiree's out there so um number one the best book you've read so far in 2019 y'all no, I have no idea literally I have no idea what the best book is that I've read in 2019 like none of them have just stood out in my mind this year and unfortunately that is my problem with romance and contemporary with me reading them is oftentimes they start to blur together and I just can't remember them because I can't grasp on to like the fandoms and things like that like you can with like Sarah J Maas, Grisha Verse, you know, Lee Bardugo, Harry Potter, City of Bones, like all those, you know, all the fantasy books, it's hard to grasp onto a concept, especially because a lot of them are not series. So you don't really get to grow with the characters. Um, you know, or you know, certain romance are series, but it's really like you follow this couple and then you follow the secondary character couple from the first one who are now the primary, and so on and so forth. So uh that's that's my issue um two best sequel you've read so far in 2019 um i chose the bride test by helen huang um she also wrote the kiss quotient and i loved the kiss quotient last year that kind of like sparked my um that kind of sparked my my romance and my contemporary drive for the last like <laughs> 10 months um <laughs> So yeah, but it, it was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. New release you haven't read yet, but want to. Um, The Wedding Party by Jasmine Guillory. Um, you know, I read both The Proposal and um The Wedding Date, or The Wedding Date and The Proposal in that order. Or that's the order it's supposed to go in. I read it backwards. Um, <laughs> but I read both of those and I really enjoyed it and I'm really excited for The Wedding Party. Um... Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Okay, y'all, I don't like doing TBRs. I don't like trying to plan out my reading unless I'm doing them for a readathon. So I don't really have a most anticipated release. Um, so I genuinely don't know. Like, I don't know. I haven't looked ahead to be like, oh, who's coming out with a book at the end of the year? I guess I'm not sure if The Wedding Party is out today, the day that I'm recording this, but it should be out by the time this is, um shown so you know i guess that'd be my most anticipated release i don't know y'all i'm sorry biggest disappointment of the year so far is actually on the come up by angie thomas crazy right because i absolutely love thug um but on the come up disappointed me the ending disappointed me it did so well so well so well and then so yeah it hurt my soul. Uh, disappointed to me. Um, my biggest surprise moving on. I don't want to talk about it more. I did a whole review. I will tag that. Um, number six. Biggest surprise is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. Um, I, I don't know if I really call it the biggest surprise. There's nothing surprising about the story. You know, two friends or not two friends, two acquaintances who don't like each other, fall in love. Through, un through different circumstances. Nothing really unsurprising about the storyline, but I think it was big, it was most surprising of how much I enjoyed the story. Um, so that 
that might be my biggest surprise in that way. Um, seven, favorite new author, debut, or new to you? That would have to be Alyssa Cole. I have enjoyed Alyssa Cole this year. Um, I have a lot more to go on what I could read of her stuff and her romance, um, but I have really enjoyed her books and had a lot of fun reading them, so check them out. She does the A Princess in Theory series, um, and I also read A Duke by Default this year, so she's got more, and I think, and they're great. I enjoy them a lot. Newest fictional crush. Um, this was hard. This was hard because like, I mean, I've been reading nothing but romance this year. So like I said, you know, it's hard to really latch on to characters. And so I'm pretty sure I just picked like the most recent male lead that I have read this year with romance. And that was Travis Ford from Fixer Up by Tessa Bailey. Um, so I liked Travis Ford for a multitude of reasons. I mean, I also have a soft spot for sports romances because I love sports, right? Um, and I just kind of liked him as a character because I liked the story because instead of like the male lead being perfect or even like slightly flawed, you know, you kind of had to deal with like, like, like his low points and depression and coming back up as well as a complicated history and background of um who he is and how he grew up so it was kind of like a different for me for my male leads and what you know what I normally see or have seen in the books that I've read um and I like his growth throughout the book so I'm trying not to like give a book review but I like his growth I enjoy him and I like him so yeah which kind of goes into number nine, newest favorite character. I have no idea, y'all. I keep telling y'all, like, these romance books, they don't stick out in my head enough to, or I don't get enough of them to really, like, go in and enjoy it and love it and love them and all that kind of stuff. So I don't have a newest favorite character. That's my problem. That's my problem. I feel like a very unproductive reader of 2019 so far um even though I've read a few I've read a lot of books this year more or more books than I normally have less than some of you but more books than I normally do and I just feel like an unproductive reader whatever um number 10 book that made you cry um I picked two for this um one because one I already mentioned which was The Bride Test by Helen Huang I literally like I don't remember what I cried about in this book but I do remember shedding tears during this book and I don't I don't remember why but I do remember like shedding actual tears in this book as well as 99% Mine by Sally Thorne um I do like I once again I don't remember I kind of remember um why I shed tears in this book but I'm pretty sure that would constitute as a spoiler so I'm not gonna spoil it for you um but yeah I shed tears in that one book that made you happy oh meet cute by Helena Hunting um that book was very upbeat and it did make me happy some things were a little you know you know it wasn't just like straight happy 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 at the entire entire time but the book made me happy I don't know made me feel good most beautiful book you've bought so far this year or received Ooh, okay um so i actually have these because i bought them of course like most people have said that has been ruined by a target sticker because target still puts these stickers on their mother book covers and it pisses me off is with the fire on high um by, by Elizabeth Acevedo. Of course, it is a gorgeous cover, y'all. A lot of people have said this. It's a gorgeous cover. And then, of course, the hardback version also has this gorgeous inside as well. So, that. It looks beautiful naked. You know, I wish I had looked beautiful naked. Um, and then also, Kingsbane. Ooh, this month. Monster of a book. But King's Bane also, I think, is just beautiful and gorgeous, and I love it. I just think it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Both, all the covers for the Furyborn series is. So I'll put that down there too. Um, shit, what's next? 
What is next? Okay, 13, last and final question. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? Anything fantasy. India, please read some more fantasy. I have just had such a short attention span in 2019 that I have not been able to focus on fantasy. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like fantasy takes a lot more focus power to read, to digest certain things and remember characters and plots and things like that. And I've had such a short attention span this in 2019 that I, I just, I haven't been able to. I have not been able to get through them. It's not like they're not like any of them have been bad. I just have not been able to get through them. So I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm in the middle of so many to try and get through them, but I don't know. Anyway, that's my mid-year book freak out tag, guys. I'm sorry that a lot of it is, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Maybe at the end of the year, we'll do an end of the year wrap up and maybe that'll help and we'll see what I've done so far. Um, anyway, I, you guys know I'm really bad at remembering names, so I will tag whomever I tag on the Twitters. Of course, a lot of you guys have already done this because it's freaking July. So a lot of you guys have already done this tag. I'm just behind behind the eight ball as always um so i will tag whomever needs to be tagged on twitter which of course means you guys have to follow me on twitter ha see how that works um speaking of that don't forget to like comment tell me if you've read any of these books what were some of your favorite books of 2019 and any fantasy wrecks that will help me get back into fantasy help me Please, please drop them down below, okay? And don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can always see what I'm reading, what I'm doing. And follow me on all the social medias, including my blog, y'all. So that's it for me this time. Um, until next time, keep turning the pages.